what we need to do is that we start holistically the fetus as a whole so even the, before you come to the heart you need to look at extra cardiac factors genetic factors and so on that is your job nt and if you are looking at multi system problem then you should do an amnio get the information whether there is an associated genetic problem and so on then the four chamber view is a really mighty step for you because it helps to differentiate between the complex and the lesions and the correctable problems the outflow tracts the number relationship in utero progression whether stenosis progresses to atresia and whether the newborn can have a critical presentation like a tga coarctation interruption so that's how you we uh, proceed the four chamber view as already shown will give you clues towards very severe heart defects which cannot be given of a uh, total correction this is very very important to start there while the outflow tracks typically gives a clue towards more correctable problems now every tof every tga every coarctation deserves to be corrected so it's very very important that you as a group i know that more than 500 people are listening to me tonight and i want all of you to take home this uh, message that these are all completely correctable problems everywhere in india there are about 35 pediatric cardiac centers now it's important to refer these cases to the pediatric cardiologist so this is something which really i don't mind if somebody copies you know, it's uh, for you only i i'm not going to talk about entities like uh, small vsd or bicuspid aortic valve a lot of people are mentioning bicuspid aortic valve and all in the fetal echo it's, uh, I, i i think it's really not really needed because there's something which you have to leave to the pediatric cardiologist also it has no prognostic value in utero so it's better to not to talk about lesions which you are not sure about coarctation tapvc they have all excellent prognosis now we have entities like tetralogy tga most forms of dor we all forms of tapvc coarctation please all these cases deserve a referral to a pediatric cardiologist these patients survive surgeries and 95% of these cases survive to adulthood and be very well so i think from today if you pick up these conditions make it a point that you refer to the pediatric cardiologist particularly lesions like tg when you have lesions like tof pulmonary atresia common arterial trunk then tricuspid atresia and so on these are little more complex because they need more than one surgery some of them like tricuspid atresia may need multiple uh, reoperations however their survival is good in the modern era they do reasonably well but of course they need multiple operations so that's why i put the prognosis as fair then there is this group hyperplastic left heart syndrome heterotaxy which is also called the isomeric heart unbalanced av central defect complex types of pulmonary atresia f severe form of epstein's anomaly these really have uh, very suboptimal prognosis so i think it's important that you all stand up and try to diagnose these problems early rather than missing them and coming up with diagnosis at 34 weeks and then nobody knows what to do so i think it's very important that these lesions if you don't if the family is not keen to continue pregnancies in these cases the diagnosis should be made very early in fact these are the situations where i would in those first trimester uh, diagnosis there is no fun in uh, making a diagnosis of tg in the first trimester and uh, at the pregnancy ending in termination so it doesn't really really uh, make much sense so the first trimester or early diagnosis should mostly focus on the most severe spectrum or multi system anomalies while the other conditions the correctable problems one corrected should be referred to a pediatric cardiologist